Lucas Media. So we got this rumor coming out that Turk Al Sheik, aka the new Tex Rickard, aka the new Al Heyman, aka the new face of boxing. They got some huge news coming out. Now it says Saudi Arabia's public investing funds are reportedly in talks with multiple boxing stakeholders to create a league and a deal that could be worth up to five billion would it be. Matram and Golden Boy Promotions are reportedly two of the promotional companies that are involved in discussing or in discussions with Turk Al Sheikh overseeing the final discussions around a potential deal about a month ago. Now, here's the thing, right? They talking about starting a whole new boxing league. I've been around since the beginning. I remember when the PBC came out and it was a whole bunch of different rumors. And y'all remember when all the older fighters, when the fighters used to fight, they didn't show the belts at first. They would have them covered up. So let's just say they start this boxing league, right? Because I know they want to centralize boxing. It's never been centralized. It's, it's just a bunch of independent people putting on a fight. Are they going to still have the belts? Or... Are they gonna have a new? You got now. You got five champions. You got the WBA, the WBC, the WBO, the IBF, and now whatever belt that they come out with. And will that be the real belt, or will y'all still use the same belts and keep them in rotation? Then the next thing is, okay, what if everybody but the PBC joins the league? So then are they froze out? I mean, what if they become one of the mandatories? Or I've also heard rumors that they might end up buying the PBC. Rick Glazer reported it. And there's also, well, he, he teased that that might happen. And also I've seen it in a couple other reports. So I mean, it's a lot. I, boxing should be centralized. But at the same time, if it is, that could still be some problems. However, I just, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. But that might be one of the reasons why a lot of fighters are leaving because if you could put up five billion, five billion to put on fights, you could start signing some of these top fighters and getting them more fights they want. I can see, I can see it working. Now the Saudis, they have been putting a money in American pockets. What since they bought the PGA, they literally bought or they started at Live Golf off with all them people crazy amounts of money. Started the PGA, then they offered Christian Ronaldo. A whole bunch of a few people in soccer hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars just for a couple of years so don't be surprised they start throwing money out there and you know oh we'll sign and i'm saying hypothetically earl spence to a three fight deal worth 45 million dollars guaranteed a piece and then what you earl gonna get the money so we'll see if that starts pulling all of the fighters out of you know different promotional companies and again are is is react gonna be the new vegas are we starting to see the end of Vegas being the premier city for fights or will they, will this boxing league be in multiple cities and all over the world? And, you know, we'll have to see, but it looks like they won't react to be the new Vegas and it's starting to happen. You know, could you imagine if Tyson Fury versus uh, Alexander Usyk was on, was in Vegas, Anthony Joshua versus Ngangu or even, the day of reckoning that they all had last year but it looks like there's a change of the guard and i mean like i said you know when the saudis when you can throw out billions of dollars like it's nothing and keep throwing out billions don't be surprised if they end up becoming the new face of boxing but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think